hope I look plump and awake because we're starting off another vlog. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlogs, you guys. If anyone's new here, my name is Jenna, and we're starting off a new one today. It's Saturday, and I just did a full skincare routine in the dining area because we are headed to a very excited event this morning. We're going to the fresh pop-up that is in the meat packing district, and honestly, I think since I lived in Chelsea, which was like two years ago, if you guys have been around that long, I have not been to meat packing since then, and I'm very excited to take you guys with me today. So there's a launch for their like uh, rose collection, so I just used everything to do this like glowy morning skincare. So we have a serum, we have moisturizer, I used a toner, dumped half of it on the floor when I was putting it into my hand, but we still love it. And then I do just need to top it off with this lip treatment, which I had these in high school, <laughs> these like sugar um, lip products. And I remember my mom had got us these for, you know when scents bring you back to childhood? Like that's what this is. Um, I wasn't that young, but my mom got us the sugar lip balms as like a, I guess like crazy gift for Christmas because they're like not the cheapest. They're sold in Sephora. So I feel like anything in Sephora is not that cheap. And we just love them so much. And I feel like this was the only lip balm that I did not lose. So, I mean, that's kind of how I am now with like any lip balm that I buy from um, Sephora. But anyway, yeah, so we have a very beautiful day in New York. It's been like this for like a week and a half and we're very excited about it. I have an outfit that I think I'm going to wear. I have to like do a get ready with me portion of this video. So that's why I just did all the skincare on camera. And then I have to do like the getting dressed part on camera. Um, but I do also need to like transfer the footage to my phone so I can edit it on the way up because we are getting approval while we're there to post and all of this needs to be kind of like together. So that's the plan for this morning. I love going when brands host things because it just like helps me kind of learn more about the brand. I feel like I've said this before, but I feel like I learn more about the brand. You meet like the loveliest people who represent the brand and other people who are there like capturing all of the moments. So I'm very excited. I need to get dressed because it's 9.15, I have to be there at 10, and I wanna get there like right when it opens because hopefully there will be a little bit less people, so I might just go up earlier and then kinda of do a lap and then walk in exactly at 10 because that way I'll have like the most optimal like filming conditions. This is just me like operating in my work brain. But later today, I'm gonna to come back, pack, and then we're going down the shore, so. It's a lot this morning, but um, my parents rented a house for a week and Polly and I are gonna go down there and meet them today. They don't have the house until 4 p.m. though, which was kind of a godsend because we originally were going to take a train at 12.07 and this event is from 10 to 11 and I was like, we'll see if I can make that. But now we can take the one o'clock train, kind of take my time and not be like rushed to get all my stuff together and everything. Cause we did go out last night. We had people here, which I loved. I love hosting and we haven't done enough of it in this apartment that we're leaving. But we did have friends over last night and then we went to our other friend's apartment, which is the apartment Polly used to live in. So we were out until like one, if you guys can tell. She's a little puffy, <laughs> but we're fine. Um, we used all of the skincare. I might use a gua sha before I leave, but I also need to put on like makeup. So yeah, that's the deal. Welcome back to another vlog, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if my morning rant hasn't deterred you, and let's get ready for the day. Okay, I'm super on time, and I was just recording and telling you guys about my outfit, but I was not actually recording, so I feel like that happens more often than not, but I'm ready to go. My makeup is done. We just stayed with like a very glowy, classic five minute makeup look, also because I don't have a ton of time because I do want to get there early, but all of the content is filmed. I just have to transfer one more thing to my phone so I can edit it on the way, which was the outfit check. So I'm gonna do one for you guys as well. But this is a dish set. I wore this last night. Polly was like, oh, you're re-wearing that already. I'm like, yep, because it works for during the day, especially for an event. I like to dress up a little bit more, but this is linen. So I feel like it's also kind of casual-ish. Um, but this is like a nice little halter top, super flattering with like these two ties in the back and then you guys can't see the pants but they're just matching straight leg linen pants and my Cezanne kind of like Birkenstock-ish shoes which like I feel like Birkenstocks are not my style but I wear these all the time so they're like kind of incorporated into my wardrobe at this point and then we're gonna do a song mod bag so I can bring you on 
the camera. So we're ready. We're gonna take an Uber up there, which is lovely, and it should only be like a 10 minute drive. And I wanna get Cobrick while we're there because that was the coffee shop I used to like hike to when I lived in Chelsea. It was like a 10 minute walk and I haven't had it in like actual years. I think the last time I had it was when I was with my friend Sandra and I was living in Chelsea at the time. So it's been a very long time and the coffee's amazing. So if I'm there early enough, I'll get that. But if not, we'll get it afterwards, hopefully, unless they have coffee there. That's a bold move. We are just, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot, honey. Good morning guys, we're back in New York City. As you guys can tell, I'm in our bedroom right now and today's Tuesday. We got back late last night and we worked from the beach yesterday or down the shore, whatever you wanna call it. And we just had the best time with my parents. It was a very like chill, kind of like go to dinner, go to the beach kind of weekend. And we had stunning weather. It was almost a little bit too warm, but it held out for us, which was really, really nice. And we also had the best food ever. So that was a really great weekend and I'm so glad we got to spend a couple of days down there because my parents are there through the week, but um, just the way that our schedules worked, we could only make it down for one of the weekends. Next weekend, we have a birthday celebration in Vermont, which I'm super excited about, but that means that we couldn't go back down for next weekend. So back in the city, back in the routine, they are showing the apartment again today, so it's still very, very clean, which I'm happy about before the storm of packing comes. But I'm dressed and ready to go. I have this outfit that I want to show you guys, and I also need to pop in some earrings. But we got up at like 6.15 this morning. I've done a 45-minute workout. My form workouts are typically like 30 to 40 minutes, and this was 45. And... I felt like it was a really, really great way to start off the day. So I'm very happy about that. We're hopefully going to continue that throughout the next week um, before we kind of like, you know, have a break over the weekend. But we are staying on track with the workouts two to three times a week. So I'm happy about that. I feel like I can definitely attribute that to having the form app. It's just too easy to roll out my mat and get it done. So yeah, I'm loving that so far. But anyway, I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you my outfit quickly. So I got this package in from Dish and I immediately wanted to grab this vest when I saw it. It's this really nice chocolate brown. They do a great cool toned, rich, dark chocolate. And I also have a matching linen set from them, which I can't remember if I showed you guys or not. Yes, I wore it to the Fresh event. And this is like right along the lines of that, but a very different style. So we have that really nice color, but this is a tailored version of that color. So this vest has buttons that go all the way down through this like long line style vest. And then it just has these nice like slit faux pockets in the front. We've also got a tie in the back, which I think is a really nice touch, especially if you want to size up and then kind of draw in the waist. If you're someone who normally likes oversized more street style fits, then you can kind of like pull it in at the waist still and just have a baggier fit everywhere else. And then the matching shorts. These are a really nice length. I think that they're very appropriate for work, but if you wanted to wear them in a more casual setting with a different top and sneakers, that they would work really nicely. But the quality of this stuff, I know I talk about this nonstop when it comes to dish, but they really do have the most amazing quality. And I never 
I'm afraid to wash the things. I'm never afraid to wear them a ton of times because I know that they are going to hold up. I've been getting pieces from Dish for about like a year and a half now and I still have everything, which is not super typical with the way that brands make fabrics these days. So very happy about this outfit. I'm gonna pair it with some loafers, I think. Or actually, I think I might do my mesh flats because it's going to be 92 degrees out today and I don't want my feet to sweat in the loafers. Also, if you guys have brown pillows like I do, you could match your pillows in this outfit. So, yeah, that's the look for today. My hair is in a sloppy little ponytail. I mean, I tried to spray it just to make it a little bit more tamed, but I let my hair dry naturally and I'm not about to go through and curl it. So, that's the hair look for today. That's the outfit, and I'm gonna pack up my bag and get my stuff going for this week. Okay, a couple more things that I wanted to show you before I leave. I think we're gonna do these shoes with the brown set, just because I think that this is a great opportunity to wear these. I only have one pair of flats, and these came in and I completely forgot about them because I shoved them under the coffee table when they were showing the apartment, and I actually really like the leopard. I know that flats are a trend, but at the same time, they're kind of like that old money style. Like I feel like a Chanel flat, for example, has never gone out of fashion. So hopefully we'll have these for a very long time, but I love the little dainty strap going across the top. And this is a really perfect leopard. So these are from Franco Sarto, I think it's called. And I think it looks cute with the brown. I don't know why I all of a sudden need a lint roller for this. I just took it out of the package. Okay, and then this is not going to do it justice, me just laying it flat on the bed, but my Cezanne package came in for this month and I got this really nice classic poplin t-shirt dress. My, not t-shirt, this is like a full on, like elevated, fancier dress. But you guys get the idea. I saw my friend Sammy wearing this, which is so funny that we picked out the same thing, but it's just a really classic thing to throw on. I'll probably wear this tomorrow because I think it's supposed to be just as hot or hotter. And I feel like even though it's long sleeve, this is like a pretty lightweight poplin material. And just like having my legs and like some ventilation with this like open hem at the bottom, I think will be fine. This with like, maybe with a pair of flats or sandals. So I'm gonna fold this up and not have it out for possibly when they come to show the apartment later this afternoon. But I just wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like this is a really great classic wardrobe staple for summer. What's on the menu for tonight, chef? Uh, we got a little sauteed chicken with uh, corn shallot cream sauce. Parsley. Okay. <laughs> and what are we doing right now? We are sauteing the chicken. We've got the rest of our ingredients over here. I just cut up a shallot. I'm still learning, so it's a little choppy. Oh, that's very good. No pun intended, thank you. Um, we still have this little guy left over. I didn't know that there were shallots, like these are kind of like garlic where you peel it back and there could be a little baby okay, one inside. Right. And then we have white wine and cream for the sauce with some dried parsley because Polly said they were out of fresh parsley. Half the battle is striping up those brown bits. One. Whoa. We're using dried parsley tonight. I, yeah. I told them. Like, it's like a parade. Come on, everyone. I'm dying. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Hey. Happy Wednesday. We're on our way to, um, well, we're on the Upper East Side, but we're on our way to location number two. And we're just taking some outfit photos. You guys know the drill over here. I'm wearing a dish set. I think I've already worn this in the vlog like 
three times, or maybe it was the last video, but I didn't shoot it for Instagram, so we're doing that this morning. And we're almost finished. So I'm heading to the office after this. I have today and tomorrow in the office, and then Friday is a summer Friday, which I'm super excited about. We're going away for the weekend, um, so we're just trying to get all the work done beforehand. But it's a beautiful morning here. It's not too hot yet, but it's gonna be like 93 degrees today. So we're just trying to prepare for that. Okay, I just changed into my vest for work. That was like the easiest quick change ever because I could just untie the neck and then the two strings in the back because I'm still wearing my linen pants. But I forgot deodorant this morning. And I was just telling you that it's like 90 something degrees today. So we're gonna have to go and grab a coffee. Um, I wanna go to Handcrafted. It's like right outside the subway on 77th Street. And I actually have never tried it. I pass it all the time whenever we come all the way up here, but I'm always like late. So I never have time to stop, but I think I wanna grab that. Then hop straight down into the subway to go to the office for the day. everybody <laughs> oh she knew <laughs> today's Thursday I cannot believe it's Thursday already that's actually wild this week has gone by so it flew fast. yeah but the days were long I don't know if that was just me but yesterday I was it was like 2 p.m. <laughs> and I was like it has to be 4 30 p.m. Yeah. it was 2 p.m. it was like 1 57 I was like there's no way we are taking I feel like this entire vlog we've only been shooting but I forgot what I was doing yesterday that I didn't pick up the camera when I got home. But we are in the beautiful sunny West Village. It's stunning today and most days. When the sun is like shining in West Village, it's so beautiful. There are so many trees here. Um, the little brownstones look really nice as they always do. But just when the sun is hitting, it's just different, you know? Yeah. It's a great vibe out here. So we've got coffees from St. Jardine that you guys would have seen before I think I put in some clips. Oh my god, look at the sun reflecting off that puddle. <laughs> There's no glow. I'm like, I should take it like a puddle glow. <laughs> but Avery and I did just see a smushed rat and the tail was detached three feet away from it. So curious about how that happened, but just I would have loved it. It's a balance. It's beautiful here, but then we see things like that. So anyway. Um, we have an office day today, to, and then later we're going home to New Jersey. I feel like I really overlined my lips, but I think the liner is just darker. Morning, guys. I'm sounding a little bit croaky. Um, I'm in the car, we're in the suburbs, and I'm about to head into the city. Basically, first of all, apologies for being the most chaotic vlogger this entire week. I feel like I've picked up the camera when I've been out, and then haven't really picked it up when I've been home and really have just been tidying when I get home from work, cooking dinner and watching a show and then going to bed. So it's just been a lot of a routine lately. So I haven't really picked up the camera, but today is Friday. I have a summer Friday, so I am not working today and I'm headed into the city to kind of take home a bunch of stuff because our new apartment, I think as I mentioned, is going to be smaller than the one we're in right now. So we're getting movers for the actual day. The moving day is July 25th. And so I am going to grab a whole haul of things that I don't need to bring to the new apartment. So this is like winter clothes, um, like stuff I need to sell on Poshmark. I don't want any of that in the apartment and I don't want it in the new place. So that's what we're gonna go and grab today. And I also have not packed for my trip this weekend. So I am gonna probably be there for an hour. I was originally going to drive at 6 a.m. It's 5.40 in the morning <laughs> because I did the maps to our apartment at, and I did like the wait and see how long it's gonna take. And it said, instead of 47 minutes, it was gonna be like 58, which is not a big deal, not a big difference. But I'm like, if we can get there in under an hour, that would be fantastic. It doesn't really look like there's much traffic and you know, for a good reason, it's like very early in the morning. So we are going to 
head out now. I'm wearing a random outfit. This is Polly's hat that he got at someone's wedding. It's like green stripes though. I think it's really cute. And my little dish sweater because I didn't bring a change of clothes. The only thing I brought was a pair of underwear. <laughs> so I'm wearing the same thing I had on yesterday. But anyway, I'm excited for a little road trip. I think I'm going to put on a podcast to entertain me for the next hour and then we are going to start clearing out the apartment, which is so crazy. Okay guys, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but it's 6.45 in the morning. We made it to our apartment and I got a spot right in front of the front door. <laughs> like I was concerned because I was coming up the side street and there were so many cars like parked one behind another. I'm just gonna go upstairs, get all my stuff, pack everything that I possibly can into this car. And we have luggage carts here, which is fantastic. I'm basically going to load up one luggage cart, take all that stuff home, and then I'll be on my way. I don't think I mentioned I was gonna stop at Starbucks before I came here because they're the only coffee shop that's open really early, but I don't think they even open until 6 a.m., so that wouldn't have worked. But I was like, why would I go and get a crappy cup of coffee when I am coming into the city and I can stop like wherever I want? So I'm either gonna go to the place that's right below our apartment, which is probably going to be the best scenario because I don't know how much traffic I'm gonna hit on the way home. Hopefully none, fingers crossed, but Part of me really wants a cold brew from Rigger Hill. So we'll see what I end up doing, but it's time to hop in to the apartment and get all my handbags and Poshmark stuff and all the other things that are on my list. But I'm very excited to kind of clear out a little bit because this is the first stage to moving and we move in exactly four weeks, which is, you know, I said it, I said it earlier but it's really wild and it always flies by, so I'm trying to get a head start. Okay, you guys, we are, let me move the steering wheel down. Fully unpacked, I'm still in the city. Um, it was eight o'clock on the dot when I finished, but I just put on some concealer because I was looking a little scary. I feel like it's eight o'clock, it's time to get ready for the day, but we're done. The car is, pretty much packed to the brim. I definitely could have done a second trip upstairs, but I'm trying to like cut myself off and not spend too much time because the reality of the situation is we're going to have to pack up an entire apartment anyway. The only last things I would have gotten are shoes that I'm selling. There were like probably six or seven pairs and a comforter from my last apartment that we used for when we had people stay over. We don't have another bedroom, but the couch is super wide and huge. So if anyone slept over, we used that duvet and pillow. And I think there were pillows and shams from my last apartment, which is so crazy and unnecessary, but I left it there. It's like on the couch. So I'm hoping they're not gonna show the apartment this weekend because we're gonna be away. But I think the last time they showed the apartment was on Thursday and we haven't heard anything about from the realtors about showing either today or tomorrow and Sunday But they typically let us know like within 24 hours. So I'm hoping it's not bad If not, I'm just gonna tell the realtor to like throw it behind the couch because that's where it was before but I'm trying to map out Rigger Hill. It says it's going to take Sorry, I'm like hiccuping No, that's not my address Okay, it says it's going to take exactly one hour to get home so let's add a stop oh, I'm just gonna map it to Rigger Hill honestly it's 8 a.m. and I was mentioning to you guys but I woke up at 5 30 this morning and it's only 8 o'clock and I've already done all this stuff so I feel like we can add it's gonna take seven minutes to get to Rigger Hill so I'm gonna drive up there I think I have to go up that way anyway to get to the tunnel so we're gonna head that way if it's like no parking and like all that kind of situation, cause that, like truthfully I haven't really driven in the city. If it's that situation, then I'll just skip it and go home and treat myself at Roasted. But it'd be nice to have a little something for the car. I would get like a croissant also because I haven't eaten this morning. I've only had an entire bottle of water and then some, um, cause I was chugging water in the apartment. I don't know why I'm so thirsty. Okay, this guy is gonna have to move because I'm trying to do a little you turn here. Okay, catch you guys at Rigger Hill, hopefully. Okay, you guys, we are almost there. We'll figure out the parking situation, I guess, on this block, but I think this block is actually pretty vacant, so there might be some spots there. Let me just turn off the blinker. Um, probably one of the weirdest experiences driving to a place that I normally walk to. 
I think I've driven in the city like four or five times since I moved in here and it was always just to move more stuff out of an apartment that I was staying in. So it was pretty wild, but I think I found a spot. This is the thing with New York City. You just kind of never know unless there's a sign that says like no parking at any time. I feel like that's when you obviously will not park there, but, but that's the thing. Like New Yorkers do whatever they want. So someone could park in a place where you're not supposed to and it just doesn't matter they're just gonna all get ticketed so hopefully that's not the case i'm literally running in rigor hills right in front of me so i'm on white street and like on this corner right here is where rigor hill is so we're gonna pop in quickly hopefully just take like five or ten minutes in there and then be on our journey but the street's actually very cute <laughs> i think avery and i have shot like over in front of this park before when we came to rigor hill for the first time but yeah it's really cute in here i'm listening to noah Khan. huge surprise there this is like this is probably one of my favorite songs from him i didn't know what it was until we went to the concert and he sang it and Polly was like belting it like I've never seen him sing before and I was like what is this song it's so great so it's like one of the top ones that I listen to anyway let's go grab a coffee we're back and better than ever I've got my treats for the ride. I ended up getting a ham and cheese croissant, which I haven't tried, so maybe I'll sample it with you. Oh, we're getting a call from Polly. Hello? <laughs> Good morning. Looks like I'm moving slow. Looks like I'm moving slow. You can see where I am right now. Do you want to take a guess? I made a, a little pit stop on my way out. Yeah. You went to Rigor Hill with you. I did. Good guess. And I have a ham and cheese croissant. Nice. What are they waiting for? What? The lawyer. I'm back home now and I'm sitting outside in 72 degree weather and it's glorious. I kind of want to go for a run and I don't know if it's just me or if it's my cold brew talking, but this is all of the coffee that I've gotten to drink since I got it at Rigor Hill an hour and a half ago. Um, but I left you guys off in the car when Polly had called me and I made a very easy trip home, which was super nice, but I still haven't unpacked the car, which is going to be probably the worst part of the process. Like it was very easy for me to like grab a bunch of crap and just throw it in the car. It's not crap, but like I grabbed a bunch of stuff, threw it in the car, and now it's just like in there. And I was gonna do it right away, but the neighbor was outside. And I was just like kind of, I don't know, I was in one of those moods where I didn't really feel like chatting with anybody, probably because I got up really early and I'm just like, you know, enjoying my own time and, and talking to myself on the vlog. <laughs> um, so I'll go back out there and start to bring everything in and just get it over with because honestly when I have a list of things to do I always do the least desirable first otherwise I will not be productive because I'm just like having that thing loom over my head but I do want to do an outfit check in the backyard just because I think it's funny that it's like such a change of scenery but before that I was going home from work the other day and the most dangerous thing is that there is a Sephora right outside of my subway stop so I picked up the Say blush this is in the shade sweetie I was actually surprised that they had this because I think it's one of their more popular ones but I've never tried the say beauty blushes I have their like um, after glow I think it's called and I love it and I use it in the summertime and it's great it's like such a lovely product but I have heard about their blushes for so long and I think it's because I have so many blushes that I didn't want to go ahead and buy another one which does make sense but we're just gonna test it out anyway because why not and you guys know that Sephora has this policy that if you buy something and I think it's within like 30 or 60 days if you use it and it doesn't look good on you or your skin reacts or you don't like the formula you can just return it so that's what I'll be doing if I don't like this but here we go I'm just using my phone 
as a camera. I'm gonna do three. It's interesting this brush doesn't really put a lot of product onto the cheek. Like the Rare Beauty one is a lot flatter so it picks up more. But maybe that's for a reason. Okay, it's blending out really nicely. I hope you guys can see this well too. Is it like too much natural light? I don't know. And it's not sticky, which I think is sometimes a quality of like these liquid blushes. And I didn't need too much. Oh, well, that's actually really nice. I love this color, let me just say. I actually don't know if you guys can see it with all the sunlight on me, but I think I really like this. And you can just tell like the color itself is just such a neutral pinky tone. I mean, another quality that this has to have is being able to fit into my five minute makeup routine. And I feel like with a beauty blender or some sort of tool, like I just use my fingers now and it blended really easily. But I feel like even with a beauty blender, it would be even more simple to get all that kind of fused into the skin. But this feels really nice. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. It's very lightweight and I love the color. So we won't be needing to use Sephora's lovely use it and return it policy. Anyway, um, that's my rant. This is my blush. And I'll show you guys my outfit that I wore to go home because I actually love it for today. <laughs> you guys, the way that we just have to fashion a little tripod sometimes, I didn't bring any of my own home. So we're just gonna prop you up on this little calm anti-stress. Okay, I feel like this is I feel like this is kind of perfect. It could honestly be even a little bit higher, but you can see you're not gonna be able to see my head, but you could see my outfit, which is the only important <gasps> Oh my god, I just sipped on one of the flowers. Are you okay? Oh, you're fine. Okay. I stepped on the side. She's fine. Okay, I'm in the dirt, but this is my outfit. We have biker shorts from Lululemon. I don't know if they make two lengths in these. I think they do, but these are the shorter ones. These are the Align shorts. I don't really like the Wonder Train. I don't even know if they make Wonder Train shorts. Anyway, um, my top is like a racer tank from Aloe, and it's probably the most worn workout top that I wear that's not a sports bra, if that makes sense. Like anytime I'm going out in public and I want something to be a little bit more long line, I always wear this one. And then my crew neck is literally a light yellow sweatshirt, so I can find one to link for you guys, but this one says University of Delaware alumni because I went to Delaware. <laughs> um, roll hens, but this is the outfit up top, and then we've got some cloud socks from Summer Fridays. I got those at the pop-up last year. And my New Balance 530s that I wear nonstop. And I think the New Balances are fully in stock on Urban Outfitters, so I'll link those for you guys for sure. And then my sunglasses for today are my YSL little tortoise sunnies with the little tiny logo on the side, which are really cute. Um, but this is what I'm gonna wear today. We're having a very active Friday, even though I have the day off. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm also gonna show you guys the hydrangeas because they're insane. I actually feel like a country bumpkin every time I come out to New Jersey, but I needed to show you guys these flowers. As you saw from the clips from Spring Lake when we went down the shore, there were so many hydrangeas. I was actually in heaven, but this is probably my favorite flower. And I just love that they're all different colors. We didn't have these last year, I don't think. They didn't really bloom a lot because they were newer. So we have them all along this fence, which I think are going to look so beautiful once the bushes like really grow and kind of fill out the space. Like this one doesn't have too many flowers yet, but I feel like they're coming. So there's like a new one that's forming right there. And then we have a couple more along this way. I did not get anything near what I thought I was going to get done, but Paul is here to pick me up. We're gonna go to his house and make the crumb cake there because that's where we're getting picked up by our friends in a little bit at like 2 p.m. So I have my bag packed and ready to go behind me and I'm wearing the same outfit that I had on before, but I need to like body shower and do all that when I'm at Paulie's house. And we're gonna have a nice little weekend in Vermont. So I am going to outro this video here just in case I don't end up filming anything this weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I know it was kind of like a week in my life, but like little snippets here and there. So let me know if you guys like long videos or like shorter ones like this. 
and I will keep that in mind for future filming. But I love you all, and I will see you hopefully in my next video.